Hello there everyone, my name is Ronnie and you're watching Ingvid or you're watching YouTube. Hi everyone. Um, today's lesson is a very basic but very important lesson in English grammar and in conversation. Um, this lesson is for Alvaro, it's for you, requested. Um, this is important because we're using the verb to be in the past, was and were. We use this verb a lot, okay? So, it's very important to know when to use was and when to use were. I'll teach you. The very first one is, we use was for he, I, she, and it. So we're going to say, I was always past shopping. He was eating pizza. She was laughing. <laughs> um, it was beautiful. Okay? So, with all of these pronouns, we use was. The negative, all we're doing is adding not. So, we're going to say, I was not, but we don't say that, we say, I wasn't. Okay? I wasn't happy. He wasn't sad. So, in the negative, all you do is you stick on nt at the end, and it turns to wasn't. If you want to ask a question, you're going to change the order. You're going to use the verb was plus the subject. So you're going to say, was he happy? With the question, you're going to raise your intonation. At the end, say, was he happy? Was she sad? And it. It can be used for singular things that are not people. So animals, or if you talk about the weather, or chairs, um, restaurants, food, you can say, was it delicious if you're talking about food? Or if you talk about the weather, you can say, was it raining? It's raining now. I love rain though. It's fine. Um, the next section that we have to look at is the verb were. If it is we, they, you, and again they, we're going to use were. So, we were means myself and at least one other person. So that's the definition of we. So, we were happy. They. They is plural of which means more than one person, but not yourself. So if I'm talking about other people, I can say they were. They were singing. You. I saw you. You were watching the video. Very good. Thank you. And they. Hey, Ronnie, you've written they twice. Why? Did you make a mistake? No, I didn't make a mistake. They has two meanings. The very first one I told you is the plural of to talk about people. So I can say those people over there, they were singing. The other definition, the other way we use they is like it. They we use for plural nouns. So singular nouns we use it. Plural nouns we use they. For example, if you're talking about a group of dogs, you can say they were growling. Okay, so they has two meanings. Plural nouns and people. People are nouns too. So they were, if they're dogs they can growl. There's a new word, growl. Um, the negative form is weren't. 
kind of a hard word to say, weren't. Again, when you're going to make the negative, all you're going to do is put nt at the end. It's unusual or very formal if we say they were not happy. The only way we would use was not or were not is if you're trying to be very obvious about the point. So, they weren't happy. We weren't and they weren't. Um, if you want to make it very, very strong, you're going to use were not. We were not happy with our service. Okay. Um, the question form is basically the same as was, except you have to be careful about the subject. And again, at the end of a question in English, it's a rising intonation. Were we happy? Um, were they singing? Were you singing? Okay. So, was and were. Always in the past. It is the past tense. Was for these subjects and were for these subjects. Negative and question form. I hope you get it. I hope you understand it. I hope you can use it. Take care. We'll see you soon.